Hey, sure. You could have been anywhere on YouTube this very second. But you're here with me, and I appreciate you for that. Team Boogie, what's good? We back. We back. The playoffs has now started. And with that, Mutt has given us the playoff promo. This is going to be a content breakdown for the playoff promo. We're going to go ahead and dive in, see all the cards that consist of the playoff promo, uh, the sets, see uh, what they looking like and which ones we like and which ones we are uh, not feeling, you know. As always, if you like content breakdowns, leave a like, man, so I can see that you guys want me to keep going, uh, keep this series going forward and uh, keep giving you my ideas, my views, because this is all it is. This is what I feel about the content released and uh, my my personal breakdown. Um, let's jump right into it, man. We have we're gonna start with AFC. We have Tom Brady. Brady's gonna throw dots. It is what it is. Brady throws laser beams. Bada bing, bada boom. But what consists of the player of, of the Brady set of the captain is Malcolm but Butler, Shaq Mason, uh, Mike Malcolm Brown, Patrick Chung, Rex Burkhead, and Chris Hogan. Now, off rip, I can tell you this Malcolm Butler, if he has 91 zone, he's not even on a block. Oh no, 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 I have Dion. I have Dion. I was just doing I was just looking at Dion and see how how what four mil look like. You know what I mean? Four mil clean. Uh, let's try to see what that looks like, because uh, that Dion's probably not going to ever be on my team. Um, Malcolm Butler, 92 zone, 89 speed, 88 acceleration. He has 92 man and 92 play rack and 78 catching. Not bad, but are you paying 370k for this card if you're not a Patriots fan? Because a lot of people who have these right now, like right this second, are the diehard fans of these teams that feel like, oh my god, I must have this Brady! Like, bruh, chill. Let the promo unfold. Price is gonna come down. More bundles are gonna be released. Don't OD and get shit the first day. It is always a bad move to get things the first day. You try to be the first to do it, it's a bad move. Moving on, I think uh, think the real head up right here. I'm not gonna dive in. I'm gonna save that for a video on uh, Budget Beast. But we'll look at the first two out of every all, out of all the sets, um, and uh, see how those cards are. Right guard Shaq Mason for 300k is a no bueno. Um, Christian Okoye, 91. But then again, Christian Okoye has no no pass block. But he's a free card for me for the uh, doing the bow set. So I'm not I'm not rocking for 300k. I think you could get a better right guard. I believe. Um, What's the, what's the, it was Larry Little. Larry Little's definitely going to be better than this Shaq Mason. Um, and he's going to be, he could be under 100K fucking around. Um, all right, so that's Brady. To do those, to get a player, I would suggest. <laughs> if you're Team Boogie, if you're part of, if you're watching this video right now, you're smarter than that. You're smarter than what I'm about to say. But I have to reiterate it for those who are new to the channel. Um, T Boogie, I know you're not, you're not, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. So I'm not, I'm not talking to you guys. Just play the wall on this one. But uh, hey, new guy, hey, hey, come here. Let me talk to you. Um, you see this set? You see how it's 40k, 42k for one of these? You see how that idiot just bought one? Cause he's gonna do the set, guy. You see this? Um, see how it takes four of those? It takes four. 42, you, you make the math, you do the math. Then you need the Patriots one. How much is the Patriots one going for? 5,500? Mm. Ooh, pricey. Um, look, if you didn't know, if you're new to Mutt, I go by the name of Boogie. Um, I help my guys out, you know, show them the ropes, tell them what I pitfalls to uh, maneuver around and, and whatnot. Go ahead and um, do that set if you think you're bad and end up with the Chris Hogan. Leave that set alone. Fuck all them sets, bro. Um, uh, welcome to the channel, though. If you <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. Um, next we have the Castro. Now I like what the Castro looks like. The Castro has some stats. He looked like he could be a go. Um, but we're gonna look at Artie Burns and Marcus Gil uh, Gilbert of this set. Now, 89 overall. We're not rocking. Off bucks. 89 overall is not going to be on your team. Even if you have a budget team, you could probably get a better right tackle. Um, we had Lane for doing the 
Barry. But even before that, for doing the tall most feared, we had 88 uh, Dotson. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm saying I don't think this is going to be on your team because you probably did a set or two if you've been playing Mutt. Or you could find a card that's probably cheaper. This card may go down, and then he could be a budget right tackle, but I believe you could get a better right tackle for the price of that. Artie Burns is 87. 87, he's 15K, 86 zone, 91 speed, 92 excel. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Um, it's Artie Burns, just looks like a set piece. I'm gonna compare him to the Jason Verrett. Um, yeah, we're not rocking. Pretty much the same shit. And Verrett came out in October. Um, but one is like heavy or man, and the other is uh, zone more so. Uh, Jalen Ramsey. I like this card. I really like this Jalen Ramsey. I want him. I want to say I want him on my team, but for the price, I don't know. Probably just get Night Train or something. Um, I'm glad that they did release this Jalen Ramsey set because my bias know. Y'all already know. We've been waiting. We've been waiting for the gold. Litter Fournette to get an upgrade, and we got one. We now, for our rookie premiere, have a Leonard Fournette. That means we have... Uh, 95 Watson, 91 Fournette, and now we need 88 Miles Garrett to get an upgrade for our rookie. Those were our three rookie premier choices, and I believe most people, like myself, are happy that this Jalen Ramsey set includes a Leonard Fournette because we've been waiting, man, and he has some stats. If you look at it, 90 speed, 93 truck, plus he has fucking uh, 86 strength, so he got some, he packed some punch. He packed some punch. Um, not a bad free card for us. To, it wasn't really free because we had to do the rookie premiere. But not a bad upgrade for those who waited for the 85 to 80 to 91 jump. Um, thank you. Thank you, EA, for uh, not bending us over. Uh, the other card. Oh, just like I tell y'all all the time, no running back is worth these prices. Barry and Bo rendered all your running backs useless. So if you don't have the rookie premiere, you're not gonna buy a Fournette just to use them. I'm sorry, if you're a Jacksonville fan, just don't do it. Save your coins, buy yourself, add 100K to this, and you can buy yourself a Barry Sanders. You know what I mean? Or go buy yourself a Bo Jackson. It is what it is. These Those cards, those two running backs, trounce everybody. They just, they, they render everybody useless. Not rocking until you get until we get running backs that's better than Bo or Barry. There's no use in investing in another running back. That goes with Gurley too. Um, Brandon Litter. Uh, let's go look at him as a center. He is 90 run block, 92 pass block, 89 strength. Doesn't look bad, but he's three. He's 351. For that price, you could go get yourself a Pouncey. Pouncey is dope because Pouncey increases everybody on your team's run block plus two so for that price i'm not rocking um unless you get him for jalen ramsey because then you get all of them back up and you're just gonna have more on your team but if you're not doing jalen ramsey individually those two cards shouldn't be on your team uh kels 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 uh houston we got a 92 justin houston that's going for 289 so 289 for Justin Houston with 89 block shed. What is his joint? So he'll have 91 block shed, um, 92 hip hop. Yo, he be. This car looks like it could be good in a 3 4 0 cuz. Ejecto Cedo cuz. Hey, yo, this, this car really looks. um. For the price, we're not rocking. Again, I'm just saying the card on the stats. Um, I'm not telling you to. I'm not advising you to go out and buy that card. I'm just saying the card doesn't look bad for 3 4. And they gave him uh, some speed. Justin Houston, uh, just like Chandler Jones, Notorious has like slower cards and whatnot. Now we're we're in the uh, we're in the midst of of people getting actual usable speed. But with that said, as they get 81, now some of our guys are getting like 90s and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like getting like they're getting faster. So everybody gets faster and they still remain kind of the same. Um, for 289, I don't know. I don't know. He does give you that plus two uh, physical front, which is useful. Physical front is useful for those who don't know um, on defense, um, because now we're now moving into where all zone all zones are going to be 
plus 91, you know? So, until that next threshold is revealed for zone, you're not really looking for uh, read and react players as much as you were before. Before, everybody was scrambling for read and react. Now, the move may be to uh, switch over to uh, physical, to get that block shed, to get those, get off those fucking uh, blocks, you know? Um, this Alex Smith card. I have too many, too many free quarterbacks to even think about this Alex Smith. Alex Smith is going to do what Alex Smith does, which is he's a check down artist. This man just goes short. Um, and he has 91 short. So he should, should make it. He has uh, 87 men, which I believe the threshold is 85. Um, he, his throw power is 84, so he's not getting no zip on the ball. He's not throwing it far down the field. And if you wanted to throw it far down the field, he has 82 deep. So there's that. It's not going to be accurate, which that's how Alex Smith is. Um, but we have too many, too many Nat quarterbacks. All these quarterbacks are Nat on my team. This is crazy. It's Tukukas. I can't. Uh, you can't, you can't, you can't, it's crazy, it's crazy much this year, um, Nat 18 and whatnot, um, uh, Kels, doesn't look like a bad card, but I will roll with Tony G, um, if you compare both of them, you'll see, you'll see, uh, we compared both of them in another video, in the Legends of the Playoffs, the Dion video, if you haven't watched that video, go watch it, what are you waiting for, video's dope as fuck, um, but, that Kels, I'd rather go with Tony G. This Conklin's the best right tackle in the game so far. Best right tackle. He looks like a savage. But let's go into his set. We have Avery Williamson. We have Josh Klein. And I, I know I, I wasn't breaking. Uh, I think I missed like two sets where I didn't break down. But players fuck up. ADHD. Sue me. Um, Josh Klein. Corey Davis. Brian Arakpo. Uh, Wesley Woodard. Uh, and Derrick Henry. I believe this is the set that... This set, most of them are 90 and above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe this this is this is a, a set that most of them are 90 above. A lot of them like kind of taper off and whatnot, but most of these guys are 90 and above. And if you could keep these these players and get that Conklin, it would be worth it. It would be worth it to get this Conklin. Um, let's check everything else before we say that. Oh. Okay, so they put the, the, the first card as 89. Um, Avery Williamson. He's 84 speed. We're not rocking right now. We need, boy, we need some meat meat at our middle linebackers. You know, the computer's over here finessing with Ray Lewis. I'm over here doing my thug fizzle with Bo Jackson with 91 speed. 92 speed, actually. Y'all feel me? I got the free uh, um, Dante, Dante Hightower who's 82 speed, who's not coming on my field. You special teams, boy. You a special teams pro, boy. You was looking out there. You looking ahead, boy. Like, you ain't coming on the team. Um, You ain't coming on the field. Not for me. Not not for Bo or Ray Lewis. But, um, yeah, Williamson, I need my user at this point to have some giddy up. I'm trying to cover every route and over the middle and um, keep it pushing like that. Bait some folks. You ain't baiting shit with 84 speed at this point in the game. Um... Josh Klein, 87. See, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. I thought they put the hydrant because that's what they normally do in the beginning. Nah, they threw me for a loop. They said, trick a magoo on your ass. So who's the higher ones? Um, will it be water? And I know Arakpo has to be one of them. Yeah, they, they really like jumbled this set up. Hmm. Arakpo has to be one of them because Arakpo has like an 89, I believe. Um, HTTR. Uh, Rakpo cards have played amazing. Um, and past when you're when you're playing three four or if you put them on the line, but you have so many cards nowadays that we don't really need a Arakpo. Um, we had the eighty nine Arakpo, so he definitely got a, a boost over that. Um, but yeah, you're not you're not making a. We got Sizzle and um, Jason Taylor and that uh free that free uh Twitch Lawrence Taylor that was amazing. This LT was amazing. Um, but yeah, we're not rocking. Wesley Woodyard, because I want to see what the other one was. Alright, so it's Woodyard and um and Arakpo are the two highs in this set. 84 speed. Again, middle linebackers. Did they give us two middle linebackers? Wait a minute, cool. They gave us two middle linebackers in the same. EA, do better. Do better. We ain't rocking. Um 
Moving on. Micah Hyde. This is going to be a pretty long video. I can tell because I'm going through all of them. Uh, we'll, we'll break it down to two videos. We'll break it down to two videos. We'll do AFC and then we'll do NFC. Because I don't want to. I know. I know. I know. Tension span. All right. Uh, Paul DeMarco. We got EJ Gaines. We got Kelvin Benjamin. We got Jordan po uh, Poyer. And we got Preston Brown and Eric Wood. Um, I thought, looking at the old set, see, now they go back to where the first two cards are the best cards. Um, for fullback, not bad. And it's only 100, 138K. Speed, huh? Um, run block, he'll be 88 with Pouncey. Strength, he has no, no, no oomph. Um, trucking, I'm not worried about trucking with 74 speed. You feel me? Um, no, I'm not really. I'm not really too enthused about this card. This card just looks like it's overinflated. Like they they boost his awareness to, to make him go up. And niggas be like, oh my god, he's a 92 fullback. I want him on my team. No boy. Um, EJ Game. Let's look at him for 200k. He's 91 zone again. Like I said, most cards now have 91 zone plus. We're at that point in the game. Or most of them are just going to have it. So if you see a corner, we're expecting 91 zone. If we don't see 91 zone, that card's useless. We're not rocking. Um, and that's it. That's for the AFC joint. Click the other video. I will have it at the end of this video so you can, guys can watch it. I'll also put it in the description for part two where we go over the NFC uh, side of the bob. Sorry for it being so long, but... I'm a long-winded dude. I have a lot on my mind, and I'm going to get it off and let you guys know my thoughts. So, if you appreciate this video, leave a like. Um, comment in, in the description which one you would like to go for. And if I missed any joints that you think are gems or budget beasts, so we can go back and look at them in the budget beast video. Uh, thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you for your time for watching this. And I appreciate you watching the next video where we go over NFC side of the ball. Um... Till then, stay sucker free, and as always, do never be afraid to be yourself. Hashtag be you. In 2018, we're going to encourage each other to just be you. Just be you. Whether you're weird, quirky, it doesn't matter. Be you. Embrace yourself, man. I'll see, see you guys next time, man. Take care.